In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an amazing cartoon profile picture for your YouTube channel for absolutely free and no cost whatsoever, and it only takes a few minutes to do this. Yo, what's going on peeps? Welcome back once again. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cartoon profile picture for your YouTube channel for absolutely free, no cost whatsoever. In my previous video, I showed you how to make a classic profile picture for your YouTube channel, like just a logo and some, like a wallpaper. But in this video though, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cartoon face for your YouTube channel profile picture, and it's absolutely free and very cool as well. So we're going to be using a software called GIMP, and it is uh, similar to Photoshop, but totally free and it's very easy to use. And I'm gonna be going over the steps very carefully. I'm gonna show you how easy it really is to do this. So starting off, first and foremost, you need GIMP the software. So go to GIMP.org, link will be down below in the description or on the screen right now. Click on that link and go to this website. And once you're here, you wanna click on the latest version, click on download over here and just scroll down and go to GIMP for Windows and download it either with BitTorrent or just directly so it pops up right here. And I already have GIMP so I'm gonna cancel this real quick, so cancel. And once you've downloaded a GIMP, install it, open it up and it will look like this. So once you've opened up GIMP, it will look like this. Now the first thing you wanna go ahead and do is to go up here to File, click on New, and then you wanna put the width to 900 and the height to 900 as well. And then click on advanced options and uh, change the fill width to uh, transparency and click on OK. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and download the cartoon pack for the facial parts. And that link will be down below in the description to a Mediafire website. Basically download that and open it up in a folder. So once you've downloaded the cartoon pack and open it up in a folder, it will look like this basically. So here you have all the parts, the facial parts. So you have the face shapes, you have the hair, the mouth and so on. So starting right off the bat, you want to go to face shapes uh, first and foremost and choose a face you think is good for the profile picture. So I'm just going to go with face one and basically click and drag it in to GIMP. So once you've done that, you basically want to reduce the size a bit. So click on the layer right here and then go to scale layer and basically hold this down arrow and it will automatically with the width and height, it will reduce the size. So basically pick a size you like and then click on scale. So I'm just gonna do that right now. So once you've basically adjusted the size of the face shape, you want to move it down a bit because we're gonna add the hair and you know, everything has to fit. So move it down a bit and go to this tool first before you do that, click on this move tool and then move the, uh, the face shape and make sure you have the right layer. So you click on that layer and then basically move it around. So I'm just gonna move it down here a bit and then let go. So once we're done with the face shape, you want to add some eyes. So go back to the folder and basically click on eyes right here. And I'm just going to choose eyes blue and drag it in once again. And as you can see, it is very big and it doesn't even fit. So we want to move it with a move tool bit right here. And now we want to adjust the size. So go right here again, click on scale layer on the layer and then click on the down arrow to basically reduce the size a bit and click on scale. Now that is too, still big, so I'm just gonna adjust this real quick and I'll be right so back. So there we go, I'm now done with adjusting the size of the eyes, and now I wanna add in a mouth, so I'm just gonna go back to the folder, go back, and then go to mouths, and I'm gonna add mouth two, because I just don't really know it fits good. So I'm just gonna adjust the size again by going to the layer, right clicking, and then clicking on scale layer, clicking on this down arrow, and basically adjusting the size, I'm just gonna reduce it a bit, and scale, so that is, perfect actually I'm just gonna increase the size a little bit more and 700 I think okay that will do the job so there we go so now that we're done with the mouth we want to go and add some hair to this face so go back to the folder and go to hair right here and basically choose the one you want so I'm just gonna choose a random one all right hair one brown is gonna do the work so drag it in once again and you want to add it behind add it behind um, or underneath the face layer so if it's up right here, just drag it down underneath the face layer. And now we basically want to adjust the size once again. So right click on the layer, click on scale layer, and basically uh, hold this down arrow. And let's see if 900 can be good. Um, okay, that's, that's good actually. So 
There we go, I'm just gonna adjust it like that. And after that, you're basically done. So if you've added in the hair, the eyes, and the mouth, and it fits all good, you're done. But if you wanna add some more additional stuff like eyebrows, go back to the folder, click on eyebrows, and choose the one you want, and basically adjust the size the way you want so it fits. Now obviously, you need a background for this profile picture for the face, basically. So just go to Google and pick a wallpaper you like, and go to edit up here once you're in GIMP, and then paste it in. So basically, copy it in Google, and go into GIMP, and paste it in. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications when you do subscribe by clicking on the bell and then checking post notifications so you get notified whenever i post out a video a tutorial or whatever apart from that thanks for watching once again and i'll see you next time